everyone, it's Mac Toy here today, so today we're going to be fighting the Noculus! Oh god. So, unlike Marasmus, who we just did, he shoots rockets at you that can damage the terrain significantly. It's recommended you have decent gear when fighting him. So, However, he isn't really the toughest boss in the world. He's actually one of the weakest. He's actually one of the ones you could fight with iron armor, to be perfectly honest. His rockets, however, leave much to be desired, so I recommend not fighting him unless you really, really are certain you can beat him quite easily. So yeah, I'm going to put on some iron armor here that I have in this chest. And I'm going to show you quickly how, um, how easy it is. We don't need to destroy blocks, so we don't need to keep anything that destroys blocks this time. All we're going to need is the Force of Nature, the Scatter Gun that we got upgraded because reasons. And yeah, we're going to keep the Salmon though because the Salmon doesn't do much because we don't melee with it. So yeah, you also get Monoculus's head once you defeat him, which is cool. You can wear it on your head. If you kill Marasmus, you get to wear a Monoculus on top of your skull. Okay, anyway. Um, so let me show you quickly how this works. Um, first off, you summon Monoculus. Hold on. Reset. Boss stat. Okay, so, what that means is that it's back to level 1. So let's fight a level 1. We're going to be fighting a level 1 Monoculus. Now, Monoculus is by no means one of the toughest bonds. It is actually one of the easiest ones. As you can see, it's basic hiding. As long as you keep out of the way, it should not hurt you. But you have to have a flat area. As you can see, I got trapped in one of the holes right there. So I think didn't kill these Am I out of ammo? Fudge. Yep. As you can see, Monoculus isn't one of the tougher ones to be. And they dropped a bomb in Amicon. Awesome. So yeah. They aren't the toughest to beat. However, the very fact of their nature makes them very tricky if you're in crowded places. Like I said with Marasmus, you guys probably shouldn't fight these guys near your base. Especially look at the damage. This is quartz blocks. This isn't dirt, guys. These are quartz blocks that did significant damage. Imagine what it does to dirt and all that stuff. So yeah, um, don't fight these guys near your home. For the love of God, don't. They will murder your home. So yeah, you can go between professional and... This is one of the only bosses I recommend you go iron and random gibberish tools. Because it's not really a significant threat. But it is enough of a threat to make you check on your ammo more than anything else. Make sure you check your ammo before you're fighting any bosses, guys. That's gonna get you killed if you don't. Uh, pistol ammo, I believe. So, let me just, um... Weep? Okay. Weep. 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 So, yes, yeah, so that's Monoculus in the show. Not an upgrade Monoculus, however, if you... Fight him again. It's a little more challenging. Why am I using the force of nature? I guess the longer spread helps the uh... Oh lord. Oh fudge me. Click bonk. Okay, a few seconds to recover. Scatter gun. Okay, okay, okay. Oh lord, oh lord. No, 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 no. Ah, dang it. So, yeah. I recommend being careful when attacking Monoculus. Ow, critical rocket. All of the rockets that shoot are critical. Charge and charge. That's a cool one. So yeah, as you can see, I got in the necklace. Oh, with the bomb and Namakam, you can actually equip. Oh, fudge. 
You can actually equip it uh, here, so you explode when you die. I look like Morazvis, hooray! But yeah, um, personally speaking, I recommend being careful with Mon with Mon Monoxus as well. And the next boss I'm going to show you is probably tougher than both of them, but not the way you expect, really. So yeah, um, be sure to watch the next video below. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye, everyone!